Well, I know him. I mean, I've met him in my past life. I've met him at times in, you know, um, over the last two years or so. Um, you know, I don't know him that well. Um, we haven't been in Parliament Isn't together. Isn't really important that you get to know him? Oh, well, I've got, I have a good enough a relationship that I think I, I would work hard to make it work in that instance. But what I'm saying to you is that is not my preference. My preference is to work in a national act coalition, which I think can work very well. But you know, well, no disrespect, but I mean, um, I've led large organisations and large executive teams. Uh, I think you've seen the work that I've done with the National Party over the last 18 months to make it out of its area of dysfunction into a very strong fashion team. And I just put it to you, I look at Chris Hipkins on the other side who can't manage his own cabinet. Uh, so uh, I've got, uh, you know, I'll make it work. You know, I can, I can, I'll make it work if I have to. But the point I'm trying to say to everyone is, uh, I want you to party vote national because that is the strongest guarantee way to change a government. In an MMP environment, all elections are close. My strong preference is to work with National Act. But if I'm faced with a choice of three years of, 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 this, of this government continuing, taking the country backwards, I will at least pick up the phone and do my best to try and form a government to, do, to avoid that circumstance. Yeah. But my preference, and that's why I'm saying to New Zealanders, is you have to think intentionally and purposefully about your party vote. It's not something that should just be flippantly thought about. You have to deliver a national-led government.